Hey there everyone, Captain Beards here, bringing you another Land Grisser mobile video. Let's get it. Alright guys, as you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be doing Angelina's Gate of Fate. Now, my Discord has recommended, if you guys are wondering how to join my Discord, the link is in the description below, but my Discord has recommended that I do the Gate of Fate stories. Uh, we took a vote, and it seemed like Angelina got the most upvotes. I could be wrong. I'm not too sure. Um, and then uh, for this video, though, I am going to ask you guys, my subscribers and viewers, go comment down below and let me know who do whose gate of fate story do you want to see now the reason why i'm doing this is because i pretty much have every character in the game with the exception of zoraida so don't ask for zoraida that would trigger me but besides that so i just wanted to bring out these stories for you guys just so we can check them out now obviously i got her skin so let's start getting into her gate of fate story and see what she is about cock Kakonsis Twins. Kakonsis Twins. I'm guessing that's how you say it. I'm not too sure. Sorry if I'm butchering and I triggered any of you guys. Alright, so Angelina is one of my favorite characters. So let's get into it here. Let's sweep it. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, attack. Alright, I'm going to pretty much just let you guys read it. Is this really a good idea? Matthew. Whatever the circumstances and whatever spirit is summoned, as long as there is a connection, the summoning will be much easier. If you are looking to summon Egghead, it's best to wear a red hat. Whereas if you want to increase the chances of summoning Lard, you should wear a green hat. Is that true? Sorry, you've lost me. Yep, I'm with you, Matthew. Don't look at me like you don't believe me. This is currently the most popular summoning theory. Ha, huh, let me try and understand this. So let's say we wanted to summon a swordsman, then we ought to use a sword to increase the chances of summoning one. That's right. You get full points for analogy. The Trinity Crystal preparations are complete. Would you like to come and have a try? So Matthew, could you lend me your sword as part of the summoning experiment? What, my sword? The sword is very important to me. You know Matthew's sword is. So I'm going to read over it this time, but if you guys don't want me to read over it, then I won't read over it. And uh, pretty much, you got, I'll just go slowly right through it. It's just as the village elder said, didn't he and Matthew find it outside the entrance to the village? Yes, according to Grenier's father, the only thing that can prove who I am is the sword. Really? So this isn't something you can play around with? What if you were to break it? I won't break the sword. I'm just going to use it for a summon. Nothing is going to go wrong, right? Matthew, just let me have it for a while, won't you? Anything to get you to stop talking like that. Here. Let's see what happens. Heroes of the sword, heed my summon. Time bell, begin. Time rift, open. And I'm guessing Angelina? It worked. Call forth a hero of the sword. Oh. Hero of the sword. You might be disappointed. It's not a hero who left behind a legacy as a swordsman. Oh, there it is. There she is. Is this Elcilia? It's completely different to... Yalis. Right, sis? I somehow summoned two heroines, a pair of young girls. It's really not what I expected. Who are you two exactly? We forgot to introduce ourselves. My apologies. Nice to meet you. I'm Shelfenol, princess of the kingdom of Casconsis. This is my little sister, Angelina. Okay, that's... We're twins. Are you blind or something? She's definitely older. I can't wait to explore this. Hello, I'm Matthew. We are the Swordsmith. Ah, uh, could you wait a minute before introducing our silly name? The time riff is opening again. Okay, so that's how Angelina's introduced there. Uh-oh, it's a red time riff. A chaos demon is being summoned. Roar. Yay, is there going to be a fight, Angelina? Perhaps we should help out. Hee <laughs> hee, those demons are rather welcoming, huh? Might as well use them to warm up on. I like Angelina's kit, her little build here. Now, as you can see, I'm using the in-game music just because I don't want to um, use my custom music. I feel like the in-game music might be better with the uh, Gate of Fate story. So, summoning two princes to fight for us. I'm so sorry. Please don't worry, Matthew. Demon Claws won't spare you just because you're a princess. In the era of Katskonsis, we also fought to survive the, and rid the world of darkness. Rest assured, we can handle ourselves. 
This seems like uh, elevator music right now. I like put it down a little bit. Angelina, there are enemies on both sides. Back there, I'll leave it to you. No problem, I'll take care of myself too. Okay. I know this first mission should be very easy. Um, who should we send with her? Damn, I actually wish I could use my shelf and all. That'd be awesome. Because I just freaking have sanction there and kill both of those demons are over there and kill both of those demons. Alright, so we'll send, uh, send Leon and then we'll send Alts with her. Actually, yeah, 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 let's go. Oh, did I put on her princess fusion power? Okay, I did. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright. Let's have you go after the Lancer here. Tenacity. Okay, this is gonna be easy because obviously this is the first gate of fate, so nothing too crazy here. Alright, so so far they got summoned. See how their story unfolds. Now depending on how long this uh this video series is gonna take, I might be splitting everybody's stories up into like two parts. Just because I don't want this video to be one hour long, so I'll probably end up recording the whole thing as one and then just end up splitting it down the middle or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and no one will survive. Disappear now. Start attack. There we go. Take down the skeletons. Yes, sir. Alright, shelf, I'm gonna need you to turn up turn up juices and take that guy down. There we go. Cool. It's time to clean up. Yikes, the time rift has already closed. Ha ha ha, it's settled. Is everything okay over there, sister? Yep, all good, but there's still something I'd like to ask Matthew. Ah, uh, me? Uh-oh, she's gonna ask him out on a date. Angelina's gonna be mad. Won the battle within four rounds. Oh. I even, I even realized there's feats and stuff. Alright, five character shards. I think, ha, wow, you two have never been to Elcilia. You come from another continent across the ocean. As we said before, we are from the continent of Yelis. Yel Yel We've never been to Elcilia. We have heard of a princess from Elcilia and a warrior called Sigma. Does the concept of Yelis contain the memories of the Holy Sword Langrisser? Langrisser. In our era, it was turned into the Sage's Crystal by Alizard, becoming a mystical legend of Yelis. My bad, bro. But seeing as there are no memories left on Elcilia, what happened with the summoning this time? Unless the summoning medium, Matthew, your sword. That's exactly what we want to ask Matthew. Matthew, your sword seems familiar. It's very similar to one of our friends friend used to have yeah now that you mention it matthew's scarf is also similar to our friends hmm i'm an orphan i was raised by grenier's father so i'm afraid i don't know much about where i come from i feel like that he even has demon blood in him orphan demon blood it seems we've touched upon a sensitive subject for matthew wait if matthew's sword was able to summon these two then you must have a connection to it somehow Please, if you know where the sword came from, you have to tell me. Um, how do I put this? The owner of this sword might be... Someone called Randius, our most trusted companion. I hear a lot of you guys actually talk about Randius. And say, yeah, I know he's a character coming, but... Gotta look him up. Hurry up, Matthew. Let's hurry up and catch that rabbit. I want to eat roast rabbit for dinner. It's just savage. Huff, huff, it's really okay for us to run out of the camp. Amilda and the others will be worried. 
Also, damn Princess Angelina say she was going to tell us about Randius. Ha ha ha, so you wanted to use hunting as an opportunity to talk about it. I guess it would have been would have be embarrassing in a more formal setting. <laughs> because Randius was my first love. What really? Okay, now I really gotta get this Randius guy. Huff huff uh what? I was focusing on chasing the rabbit. I didn't hear that. Can you repeat what you just said? Damn you, I said the rabbit seems to have run into the forest. Go after it. Well, that's how we're gonna start. Listen, this elevated music needs to chill. It should be in this direction. Where did it go? Angelina, be careful. Oh, Matthew just took the shot. He's heroic. He needs to train a little bit though, he's a little weak there. Matthew, are you alright? Is this? No, I'm fine, over there. Boy, look like you're about to pass out. Roar! No way, how could a lobster get this big? That's pretty cool. I'll, I'll tell you guys after. You managed to meet a worthy opponent so soon. Matthew, pull yourself together. Fight. Yep, damn straight he needs to. What's pretty cool is they usually, they put these uh, minions in water. And Angelina's two paths are water or flying, so you can actually easily get to them. That's really cool that they did that. Um, we're going to go same setup here. Should be able to handle these guys. We'll have a... We'll have our girl pull off the fusion power. In you know, the hardest stages, I'll, I'll run a healer, but for now... Should be good with this. Alright. Let's go after the octopus first, because the octopus is usually the one that's the most annoying. Alright, easy peasy. Easy peasy. And let's hit uh, this guy here. Get three blocks there. So far, an interesting story. Nothing too crazy amazing. If I was saying, if I would say myself. Yep, attack Angelina so you can get absolutely obliterated. Booyah! All right, let's go. It's finally done with Princess Angelina. You're not injured, are you? Some little lobsters escaped. We should take them alive and roast them up. Damn. By the way, please don't call me Princess. Just call me Angelina. Pretty cool. I wish this was all voice acted though. It would have been cool. I know some characters, I believe, are voice acted. I don't know. I think uh, Sephiroth is voice acted. Ultima Wars. So. No allies are defeated. So pretty cool. But I really wish they were voice acted. Hmm. Carrying all these lobsters back to camp is hard work, isn't it, Matthew? Let me, let me help you carry them. It's fine. I can manage on my own. He's a man. Ha, so you're the sort of person who'd rather struggle by himself. You really are a lot like Randius. I'm sure Radius is definitely your ancestor. Ha, when you say it like that, it sounds like a compliment. Radius was a descendant of light who could wield Langrisser, so perhaps I also... Randius. Sorry, guys. Huh, to my understanding, that wasn't the case. Although he could use Langrisser, he was not a descendant of light. He wasn't a center of light, so Randius must have been a very special person. Yep, to me is very special, although getting back to what we were saying is the camp this way. I feel like we've been here before. Are we lost? Huh, I thought you knew the way back, so I just kept carrying the lobsters and walking in that direction. So Angelina, help me with the lobsters and I'll lead you back. Okay, it's great to be with someone who has a sense of direction. Hmm, this is the right direction. Keep up. Did I get lost in the woods again and end up being led out by a young man? This story really is just like the days gone by. Right, Ra Randius? Wow, Angelina, keep up. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Look, Matthew, I've learned to ride the lobsters. Lobsters, let's go. Ah, be careful, Angelina. <laughs> All right, next one. Trekking right through these. Trekking right through. Ah, what's with all these lobsters running around? 
It wasn't easy cleaning this camp up, and now it's a mess again. Ah, uh, sorry, An Angel Angelica. And I caught those. I think that meant to be Angelina. And I caught those. We were going to cook them tonight. I didn't expect them to get out. Ah, uh, this is really frustrating. If you guys have free time to chatter, perhaps you could focus on trying to catch these guys and put them back where they came from. Miss Shelfinol, please come and help. Okay, Angelina, do you know how much energy we spent cleaning the camp? What does that achieve? I spent a lot of energy hunting them. It wasn't easy bringing all the ingredients back for tonight's meal. Cleaning isn't something I should concern myself with, is it? As far as you're concerned, whatever your sister puts her heart and soul into is worthless. Okay, they're fighting right now. Ah, they suddenly started arguing. Princesses, let's take it easy. No, you, if your sister's word, words can't make you feel remorse, then I will have to resort to force. Shelfano, you think you can take me? Come get it, if you think you have what it takes. Uh-oh. Angelina about to give her the hands right now. This add to zero respect for other people's hard work. I can't stand it. All right, first of all, this is a very serious moment, and this music is absolutely trash. I'm telling you, they need to they need to adjust the tone. You really want to deal with that slime we sorted out just now? Somebody contact the devs. This part seems kind of epic, but this uh. This music is killing it for me. Sister's self-righteous attitude is the most irritating part of all of this. In that case, I'll bring some help too. Little lobsters, let's go. Roar. All right. Oh, what do we have to do? Where is she? Oh, she's across. They just like started across each other there, and now they're like right there. All right. Let's kill all of them. Okay. I don't know if we'll be able to handle this without a healer either. What level are these guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, we will. 100%. Alright, let's do this. I wish I could use my shelfinal. Shelfinal, my shelfinal will shred these guys. Um. And I know Chris will shred these guys too, but then I would have to run the thing, and I don't want to run the thing. Wait, could I actually use my shelfinol? She was there for a second there. Hold on. Don't drag us into this mess, you two stop. It doesn't look like they can stop, even if we all stand in line. Hey, Matthew's awake. What? Alright, so it looks like I think I could use shelfinol, but I guess I'll just wait on it for now and just continue doing this mission. Chuck her down. Should be a one shot her. Okay. Unfortunately, the water's gonna stop me. That's a okay though. Yay! Hit them all. That was not gonna kill, but almost. Good enough. I like to push for the win. Slime against Octopus. And that's Octopus's native terrain. Of course he's gonna win. Alright, I was gonna restart the mission and go pick up Shelfinol, because Shelfinol will one shot all the demons, but I'll just continue for now. Why are you so rude to me? All I can do is swallow my pride and keep this pain in my heart. Yes, They're getting really serious for like no reason right now. Oh, these slimes are strong. What's up? What's going on with these slimes right now? Finally. Are they like immune to like... Hold on. Grants immunity to physical damage. Oh. Before battle, 50% chance to... Okay. That's, uh... That's terrible. For me. Finally. 
That is uh, absolutely terrible for me because all of my damage is physical damage. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him, but ain't gonna do nothing. Jeez. I wonder if Angelina's lightning con is considered physical damage. I completely forgot. It's up to this guy. This guy will carry the team. The Leviathan. And the Octopus. These two. These two are going to carry the team to victory. Really, I've always done everything for you. And in the end, you can't even say a word of thanks. Okay, okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. You're going to attack my boy. You're not going to do nothing, but... Definitely got to be concerned about that next time, because that is a not good. Let's see here. Damn. So really, it's up to uh, our boy Alt here, but he needs to proc some Gales, and he's not. I'm not doing enough damage here. Okay. As long as the Leviathan and the Octopus here can uh, kill these slimes, then we'll be a-okay. It looks like they are just gonna do just that. Nope. Octopus has to use his skill. This is annoying. Finally, you need to proc Gale, please. I'm always ready. Dude, come on. There's not, this Seth here is just not proccing Gale. He doesn't want to proc Gale. Okay. Okay, Leviathan is coming in ham here, which is beautiful. Octopus, I'm gonna need you to do some range shots here because this getting up in your face business is not cutting it. You need to be like Leviathan. Finally. Finally. Okay. Proc Gale, please. 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 Not. Okay. I'm gonna activate these pointless abilities right now. Yes, yes you are. All right. Just completely surround the slime. All right. So this has been a very, very long mission here, but that's due to the fact that. I had no indication that these slimes were going to be like this. Alright, Seth, this is your turn. You're going to proc Gale now. And this mission is going to be over, please. Whatever. Leviathan, go. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. No, why would you use Blizzard? Mm, wow, Leviathan, you're an idiot. That's that's just odd. That's just the CPU being the AI just being dumb. AI was just being dumb there, honestly. Finally. It's like in uh, PvP matches when you put auto and you're running. Um. Oh, now you want to proc Gale when it has no bearings. Um, it's like when you uh PvP and you press auto and you're using Lana. And you know you got a. Uh, let me turn here. And you know you got um a fusion power buffer for her, but they make Lana go first, and then your fusion power buffer goes after and proc the, the the faction buff. It's so annoying to watch that in auto. That's why when I auto, I literally uh, let me read this. Angelina, so are you happy? Seems a little extreme, Prince and Shuffle. Is that all right? 
I'm afraid I have to go. Angelina, wait. Oh man, he got serious. Yeah, that's so annoying. That's why when I PvP, I literally have to um put my phone down and not look at the screen. Because I'm just like, I get so annoyed by the uh, sheer nonsense of the AI. But yeah, let's continue here. Alright guys, so this is the end of part one of the video. So remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. So that way you can see when all my videos come up. And remember, it's your boy Captain Beards. Peace out.